In mathematics, a base B for a topological space X with topology T is a collection of open sets in T such that every open set in T can be written as a union of elements of B. We say that the base generates the topology T. Bases are useful because many properties of topologies can be reduced to statements about a base generating that topology, and because many topologies are most easily defined in terms of a base which generates them. Definition and basic properties. A base is a collection B of subsets of X satisfying these two properties. The base elements cover X. Let B1, B2 be base elements and let I be their intersection. Then for each X in I, there is a base element B3 containing X and contained in I. If a collection B of subsets of X fails to satisfy either of these, then it is not a base for any topology on X. Conversely, if B satisfies both of the conditions 1 and 2, then there is a unique topology on X for which B is a base. It is called the topology generated by B. This is a very common way of defining topologies. A sufficient but not necessary condition for B to generate a topology on X is that B is closed under intersections. Then we can always take B3 equals I above. For example, the collection of all open intervals in the real line forms a base for a topology on the real line because the intersection of any two open intervals is itself an open interval or empty. In fact they are a base for the standard topology on the real numbers. However, a base is not unique. Many bases, even of different sizes, may generate the same topology. For example, the open intervals with rational endpoints are also a base for the standard real topology, as are the open intervals with irrational endpoints. But these two sets are completely disjoint and both properly contained in the base of all open intervals. In contrast to a basis of a vector space in linear algebra, a base need not be maximal. Indeed, the only maximal base is the topology itself. In fact, any open set generated by a base may be safely added to the base without changing the topology. The smallest possible cardinality of a base is called the weight of the topological space. Then S is not a base for any topology on R. To show this, suppose it were, then, for example, and would be in the topology generated by S, being unions of a single base element, and so their intersection would be as well, but clearly cannot be written as a union of the elements of S. Using the alternate definition, the second property fails, since no base element can fit inside this intersection. Given a base for a topology, in order to prove convergence of a net or sequence it is sufficient to prove that it is eventually in every set in the base which contains the putative limit, objects defined in terms of bases. The order topology is usually defined as the topology generated by a collection of open interval-like sets. The metric topology is usually defined as the topology generated by a collection of open balls. A second countable space is one that has a countable base. The discrete topology has the singletons as a base. The profinite topology on a group is defined by taking the collection of all normal subgroups of finite index as a basis of open neighborhoods of the identity theorems. For each point x in an open set U, there is a base element containing x and contained in U. A topology T2 is finer than a topology T1 if and only if for each x and each base element B of T1 containing x. There is a base element of T2 containing x and contained in B. If B1, B2, Bn are bases for the topologies T1, T2, Tn, then the set products B1 times B2 times times Bn is a base for the product topology T1 times T2 times times Tn. In the case of an infinite product, this still applies, except that all but finitely many of the base elements must be the entire space. Let B be a base for Ex and let Y be a subspace of X. Then if we intersect each element of B with Y, the resulting collection of sets is a base for the subspace Y. If a function f, x, y maps every base element of X into an open set of Y, it is an open map.
Similarly, if every pre-image of a base element of Y is open in X, then F is continuous. A collection of subsets of X is a topology on X if and only if it generates itself. B is a basis for a topological space X if and only if the subcollection of elements of B which contain X form a local base at X. For any point X of X, base for the closed sets. Closed sets are equally adept at describing the topology of a space. There is, therefore, a dual notion of a base for the closed sets of a topological space. Given a topological space X, a family of closed sets F forms a base for the closed sets if and only if for each closed set A and each point X not in A there exists an element if F containing A but not containing X. It is easy to check that F is a base for the closed sets of X if and only if the family of complements of members of F is a base for the open sets of X. Let F be a base for the closed sets of X. Then F equals for each F1 and F2 in F the union F1 F2 is the intersection of some subfamily of F. Any collection of subsets of a set X satisfying these properties forms a base for the closed sets of a topology on X. The closed sets of this topology are precisely the intersections of members of F. In some cases it is more convenient to use a base for the closed sets rather than the open ones. For example, a space is completely regular if and only if the zero sets form a base for the closed sets. Given any topological space X, the zero sets form the base for the closed sets of some topology on X. This topology will be the finest completely regular topology on X coarser than the original one. In a similar vein, the Zariski topology on N is defined by taking the zero sets of polynomial functions as a base for the closed sets. Weight and character. We shall work with notions established in Fix X a topological space. We define the weight, W, as the minimum cardinality of a basis. We define the network weight, NW, as the minimum cardinality of a network, the character of a point, as the minimum cardinality of a neighborhood basis for EX in X, and the character of X to be here. A network is a family of sets, for which, for all points X and open neighborhoods U containing X, there exists B in for which X be U. The point of computing the character and weight is useful to be able to tell what sort of bases and local bases can exist. We have following facts. NWW. If X is discrete, then W equals NW equals X. If X is Hausdorff, then NW is finite if F X is finite discrete. If B a basis of X then there is a basis of size. If N a neighborhood basis for X in X then there is a neighborhood basis of size. If F X Y is a continuous surjection, then N W W. If is Hausdorff, then there exists a weaker Hausdorff topology so that so a 40 or I, if X is also compact, then such topologies coincide and hence we have combined with the first fact NW equals W. If F, X, Y a continuous surjective map from a compact metrizable space to an Hausdorff space, then Y is compact metrizable. The last fact follows from F being compact Hausdorff. And hence, as well as the fact that compact Hausdorff spaces are metrizable exactly in case they are second countable. Increasing chains of open sets using the above notation. Suppose that W kappa some infinite cardinal. Then there does not exist a strictly increasing sequence of open sets of length kappa plus. To see this, fix is a basis of open sets. And suppose per contra, that were a strictly increasing sequence of open sets. This means for we may utilize the basis to find some u gamma with x in u gamma v alpha. In this way we may well define a map, f, kappa plus kappa mapping each alpha to the least gamma for which u gamma v alpha and meets this map is injective, otherwise there would be alpha less than beta with f equals f equals gamma which would further imply u gamma v alpha, but also meets which is a contradiction. But this would go to show that kappa plus kappa, a contradiction, 